All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. We are playing some Caitlyn in the mid lane, and we have Predator, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter, Mana Flow Band, and Absolute Focus. We're going to be going Sniper Kate with Lethality and try and do as much damage as I can with my ult. And the plan is to pop Predator and then ult somebody for the extra damage guaranteed on that. For Mythic Item, I'm not sure if we're going to go Eclipse or Duskblade. They're both pretty good, but Duskblade's probably the most practical because it increases our auto attack damage too for the first one and then gives us lower cooldown for the alt. But we're against the Zed here, so I decided to take Barrier so we don't get uh, one shot so easy. I'll just poke him quite a bit. Pretty weak level one. Wow, that Q did a lot of damage. Minions did the most damage to us, though. You just have to be careful for their jungler. Hecarim is pretty good into us. Okay, top and bot are both doing good. Wow. Get set up some traps where he's standing. He still has two potions, whereas we only have one. But we have a Doran's Blade. We have a little bit of life steal and extra health okay he didn't proc electrocute there but I did take a bit of damage ouch all right Hecarim is topside oh no She made it out. I just gotta be cautious now. They were still beating Zed and CS. We had to lose part of a wave because of this roam. I don't want to go too far up. Hecrum can come through our jungle. Where did Zed go though? He might have tried to base. I knew that was coming. I thought since Zed disappeared, he would uh, come behind us. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't think that'd do so much damage. The thing is, I kind of got a base now. Oh, shoot. I pinged the wrong thing. Well, hopefully Zed doesn't get a kill out of this. But my bot lane is ahead, so hopefully they could do something. I got the predator boots and I got a refill. We'll be hitting level six soon. We can maybe fight the Zed. Ooh, there's a Hecarim. Very aggressive Hecarim. I think I got him. This trap should hit. Okay, maybe not. Oh, that was a bad Q. Let's see. My bot lane can't come help me, so I think he just gets away here. I am a level under also. Damn, I didn't do any damage to him. Oh, we're still beating him in farm, but he does have a kill from that Shivana. We do have a huge disadvantage because Shivana is a scaling champ. She needs at least level 6 to really gank. 
Okay, we got our ult. But he's got his. Let's see, we could base here. Really don't have enough mana to kill him. Oh, I wanted an auto there. There we go. This might kill him. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> the Predator Snipe. Okay, I really didn't think that would kill him because I didn't have enough mana to even use the sudden impact uh, dash on my E to get more lethality there. But yeah, that wasn't really how I was planning on killing him here. But I will totally take that. That was actually awesome. Okay. Eyes is 4 no. Oh, let's grab some lethality. Why not? And we got that blue buff, too. We just pretty much have to poke him down. We don't want to get ourselves below, like, 70-80%. Because then that'll, that'll make him want to go all in with his ult. He's not going to all in us if we're full health most of the time. So if we get low, we just we have to base pretty much against a Zed. It's not worth it to stay. I think Hecarim's on Dragon. Hmm. He did want to go all in. Okay, well. See, since he did all in us when we were full health, so we didn't really come close to dying. That's the good part. Let's see what we can do here. Boom! Comboed his ass. I didn't use Predator, but if I did, I would have got that Hecarim kill too. I just wanted to get it off as fast as possible. Amazing. We got that Zed in a really good combo too. I don't think I can get plating here. I'll be lucky if I can clear the wave before Zed gets back. Although he has no alt to kill us, so... I guess we're good. I'm gonna go for this. I'm greedy. I got traps. Alright, and away we go. Game's feeling pretty good now. Eclipse would give us more damage on our ult, but this would give us more cooldown on the ult, plus the auto damage. So I think Duskblade is just better, no matter what. Eclipse would be really good late game if we needed all that percent armor pen, but it's really only going to be good versus Hecarim, I think. He's the only one that's going to get somewhat tanky. I think she's dead. Uh, Zed roamed too, though, so he didn't grab a plating himself. And I have no attack speed in my runes either. I'm I'm just playing for straight AD. Ward here, trap here. How long do these last? Like a minute? 30 seconds. Ooh, I could snipe somebody. Predator is popped. She's gonna block it, but there's a chance she's not paying attention. Wow. That did she was full health, wasn't she? Now Shivana gets a double. Maybe. Shivana gets to die. Boom. There we go. We're hitting the traps, too. Traps give us so much damage on our autos. Oh, I got a red buff. Yeah, our ult is going to be very deadly this game. Very, very deadly. Uh, let's see. Do I stay for one more? Kaiser can go mid-take my wave since I'm greeting for more plating. But I have Dusk Blade. Prowlers actually would give more damage on the ult than uh, Eclipse. Because it gives 5 lethality. But we need to do more than just ult. We need to be able to auto attack too. Because we're doing a lot of our damage with autos. When I play this in Earth, I try the Prowlers and it's pretty fun. 
But I still think this uh, Dusk Blade is the most practical. Okay, I could snipe this guy. Akram will most likely block it. I'm in bad positioning. Where did he go? Oh, he canceled it. Well, dodge this. Blue buff acquired. Ekrem's still around, isn't he? I think Ekrem was low too. I could have maybe sniped him. But it's always more important to kill Zed, take him out of the game. If Zed's not a threat, then I shouldn't die too much. Ekrem kills me a bit slower than Zed would. Oh, shoot. I think I'm fine. Had I hit a trap on him, I think that would have gone better. Or my E. I missed two abilities. Definitely could have killed him there. We're doing massive damage. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm the assassin, not you. Oh, no. And alts back up. <laughs> oh my god. This is actually so fun. I was not expecting it to go this way into a Zed. Rank 2 alt. That's crazy. We're getting some amazing snipes this game. What could we pair this with? Cooldown boots for more alts, of course. Um, else would do a lot of damage. Edge of Night could keep us alive. We could also go Collector. There's a lot, a lot of choices. I'm just gonna grab the Lethality for now. I don't have shields. Maybe Collector, we'll just see. I'll save the inventory spot. There's Essence Reaver too. But that doesn't really help the ult. Straight up lethality or armor pen will help the ult the most. A grudge might be pretty good early. Okay, Zed went bot and died. I think one more lethality item, like an edge of night, might be the best. Because we, we don't want to die. I didn't know she was still alive. Can't really do anything to help her though. He's scared of me. No turret, though. I could definitely kill Lux with a snipe. I just gotta get Ezreal low enough to where he won't block. Or Lux will block and he dies. Nope. Look at that. Half health snipes. This is such a fun build. Um... Let's see, 60 AD, 16, this gives 50, 10. Okay, maybe maybe a Ghost Blade or a Serpent's Fang. Ghost Blade, I think, gives the best uh, in terms of stats. I'd take this red, but it's going to take too long. I just keep traps near me. I can kind of counter the Zed ult because I just stand on a trap and he's going to get stunned or rooted or whatever it is. Let's do... We'll do a Ghost Blade. I just want damage. We haven't really died yet. I hit him with that. I don't have any mana though. I got to get out of here. I think they got him. Nice. Okay, Ghost Blade. Ghost Blade into Grudge next would probably be the best. What was that cover bot? I'm very good into their bot lane. They're very squishy. Vana doesn't have form. Oh my god, she got deleted. Alright, I got some Ghostblade move speed. I think they're gonna run away from me. 
Maybe they'll come back now. No, they're pretty scared. Oh, Kai's is coming too. I don't know. I'm guessing my ult with Predator can do at least half of their health. That's what I want to try and get them to. Maybe 60%. Should we just do it on a full health Zed to see? I think I should. It'd be pretty funny. Can Kaiser just ult off this? Oh my god. It did 70% of his health. Look, Kaiser got him. I think. Yeah. And ult's back up in 18 seconds. Riven might be the scary one for us. She's actually kind of strong. She does have five kills and a gore drinker. She doesn't have armor boots though. And we also have an eight kill Kaiza. Oh, my Q can one shot the casters. Predator's almost up. Guy's coming through here. I could kill Azrael with ult, I think. I popped it. I gotta shoot it. Riven's right here, though. Oh! Oh! He knew. He knew that was lethal. He flashed as soon as he saw my ult on him. If my team was able to hit him one more time, I would have been able to kill him. Ooh. Big Seraphine on. Oh, they're not getting anything here. There we go. Three for one. Three for two. It's almost a five for one. Oh wait, it's not over yet. Four for two. Four for three? I don't know, I lost track. I can buy a Last Whisper, or I can get more lethality. Let's see. Armor boots, and that's literally it. So I don't know how useful this would be. 45 AD, 30% armor pen, 20 haste, and my Q and alt slow them. I think we go like Serpent's Fang or something and just try, or Collector. Yeah, we could go another lethality item just because they have zero armor. We could save the grudge for next item. Maybe I'll go Edge of Night because I could die and possibly throw this whole game by swinging 1,000 gold to them over and over. Edge of Night, be safe as Collector would probably do the most damage. Oh, good thing I didn't walk into that. Darn you, move speed. Oh, that auto did so much to her. Let's see this. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I just one shot her. That's, that's an actual one shot. You guys are always like, oh, you didn't one shot him. There, tell me that's not a one shot. Oh my God. That's disgusting. She was almost full health. She was like 90%. You must not have any armor. Well, I got ult up, but I don't have Predator. Predator is adding... Uh, where does it show? Okay. Do I really have to add it all together or am I just dumb? Oh, it does a little under 150. Harvest would probably be at like over a thousand damage, but Predator is like guaranteed on your ult. It's going to proc. You could ult them at full health and the Harvest won't proc because it only 
applies the damage once and not twice to apply the harvest or to proc the harvest oh you're going down boom we're getting so many snipes well i guess we don't need the edge of night because we don't really have a threat of dying yet hasn't been too close except for early game Sell this. I mean, the only thing I can afford right now is this or this, but it looks like they FF'd. So, if you guys enjoyed this game, make sure you leave a like. It helps me out a ton. It was a pretty short one. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out my other channel with Heisman. We're going to be uploading a video where we played a double poke comp bot and we destroyed our enemies. Uh, last but not least, also leave a comment below letting me know what build or champ I should try next. And let's see your damage. Alright, we did 1,500 damage. We did the most damage in the game just sniping people. And that wasn't even a long game either. We would have just kept getting stronger. Predator did 559. Sudden Impact added 300 damage that's why we take that for our little dash gives us some lethality and other than that thank you guys for watching have a fantastic rest of your day and peace